Hey guys, it's Marissa from Sayers & Co. And ignore the lighting, I'm too lazy to get up and turn lights on. But I wanted to show you guys how you can edit templates in Canva. And so I'm gonna specifically show you for this listing of the color charts that I made for Oracle 651 vinyl, as well as StyleTech Opal. Um, this will also work for anything in our shop that says you can edit this in Canva. I have a whole bunch more things coming in the works, but I wanted to get this video done and get it set up. So that way, if you guys are not sure how you can edit, not sure the powers and capabilities of Canva, that you can have like a little mini tutorial to help walk you through it. So first of all, um, Canva is a website and they have free accounts. So there's no need to purchase anything. You don't have to worry about that. And um, I would highly suggest looking into Canva if you are not already using it for your small business. Uh, Canva Pro, which is the paid version, is actually the first ever business expense that I ever spent on my business. And hands down, one of the best decisions ever. It's phenomenal. But you do not need it. Everything I'm going to show you, you can do without using the Pro version. So don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. But we are going to be using Canva if you want to edit it. Now, all of these um, images I'm going to be showing you are going to be able for you to download just as they are. So if you don't want to edit it, if you don't want to add your logo, if you don't want to move things around, change the font, et cetera, you don't have to. You literally can edit. You're going to get the watermark free version. You're going to get the high resolution file and that's it. You're good to go. You can go ahead and use them in your small business. But if you're wanting to personalize, maybe you're only carrying some colors of vinyl, maybe you're sold out of some colors of vinyl, et cetera, then this is what you're going to do in order to be able to totally customize the files that you're buying. So let me share my screen really quick and show you guys. This is what it's going to look like. Sorry, there's a little, little error page on it. This is what it's going to look like. You are going to be getting the high resolution files that don't have the watermark and you can, these are going to automatically download and you can use them straight as they are. Now, if you are wanting to add your own stuff, like I said, I'm just going to walk you through and show you how to do that. So first of all, each one of these are individual. You can move them, you can delete them, you can respace them. If you only carry one color, one color yellow, one color orange, uh, you can come up here and you can make a new page and you could come over here. Let me do this. And you could say, okay, well, I only carry um, yellow, let's say, and you're gonna grab the yellow, copy it, come over here to page two, paste it, Maybe you carry orange, copy, paste. Maybe you carry red. You guys get the idea. But you're going to come over here and copy and paste whatever colors that you carry. And then you can space them out. You can make them bigger. You can change the font if you want. If you want the font to be bold, you can go ahead and make the font bold. If you want to change the actual font itself, you can go ahead and change the font itself. You have full control and you can do whatever you want to make this yours. And um, it's super, super simple. So you can change this however you want. Um, you can duplicate pages as well. So if you do a bunch of work and you want to mess around with something, but you don't want to lose all that work you just did, you can just duplicate the page. And then that way you can mess around on that new page. And if you mess up, it's fine because you have the old one still. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. If you want to add your own logo, it's super easy. Obviously, you could just type it. So there's two ways to get text onto it. You can literally click the letter T and it's going to pop up a text bar for you. Or if you want, you can come over here on the left-hand side and click text and it's going to open up all the text options. So you can type in your logo, right? So let me make this bigger so you can actually see it. You can go ahead and type in your logo. If you want, if you have a picture logo that you want to use, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to do is just go onto your computer, open up whatever file, and you're just going to drag it from like your file finder or your um, desktop, wherever you have it, you're gonna drag it into this um, website browser page. So I'm gonna, you can't see this part, but I'm clicking on my file right now and I'm dragging it over. And you'll see when I drag it over, it's gonna pop up where it says drop to upload your file. So I haven't let go yet. So I'm gonna let go and it's gonna start uploading it. You're gonna see it over here. You're gonna get a little, um, I call it like the ocean graph on the left-hand side that's gonna show you how until it's done. 
When it's done, you can click on it and it's going to pop up on whatever page you're currently on. So if I went down to page number five and I clicked on it, it's going to open up on page number five. So let's come back up here because I got a little bit more room to work over here. And I'm going to click on that image and I can size it, I can move it around, I can do whatever I want. But this is how you're able to add your logo to this document, you know, very easily. You can add text to it. So if you're wanting to give some more information, maybe you don't want this to be called metallic copper, maybe you want it to be called metallic bronze, you can come in here, simply double click and change the wording. Like I already showed you, fonts, sizes, colors, you can change so much stuff. There's so many capabilities of Canva, which I'm not gonna get into right now because seriously, I could talk about Canva forever. But I just wanted to show you guys this. I hope that this is helpful. I hope that you guys love these and that it really helps your business. Um, these color charts help my business drastically because my customers can see all the options. I try and put all of the similar colors near each other. I know some people like to do it the other way around. Um, I like to put all of the similar colors very near to each other. So that way people can really see what they're getting and they can really make an educated decision that, you know, these blues are all very similar, but maybe they want more of a navy versus a cobalt, et cetera. And in my opinion, when you have the colors kind of all spread out, then it makes it a lot harder for people to choose the color they want. And so by doing my color charts like this, which I've done for seven years now, I find that I, I don't have returns with people being like, oh, that's the wrong color. Um, I don't, I shouldn't say I don't have returns because it's a custom product, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't have people saying, oh, I thought that this orange was actually a red orange because I have the red orange right next to the other orange. So they're able to see, oh no, I want this one, not this one. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm rambling now, but I hope this was helpful. I hope that as you can see, it's holiday time when I'm recording this. So I hope that you guys either have an amazing holiday or you had an amazing holiday or maybe we're coming up to an amazing holiday, but I hope you guys um, are happy and healthy and your business is kicking butt. Uh, feel free to join our Facebook group and let me know if you guys need help with any other trainings or um, any other questions or things like that, because for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a business coach for handmade uh, businesses with Deco Exchange and I love, love, love training. So uh, yeah, I hope that your business kicks freaking booty this year. And this was helpful. Okay. Bye.